teaching students here before, and I've been here once before. So uh, uh, my supervisor, Arne Greve, he's a pretty good friend with Chen Pai. Okay. And uh, between his his friends at the different universities here, we get to travel and see the world and get to meet all the experts in the different fields. Because in uh, Norway, we have quite a lot of oil. And we have expertise, but we don't have expertise in every small field that we want to investigate. So therefore, it's natural for us to come over here and see what you guys do. is effective to the event prime and uh, to see how much uh, water you can buy spontaneously in the car and the water goes into the car and uh, replaces it, repla replaces the oil which are already in there and we will see how much uh, oil we can get out spontaneously without uh, uh, injecting water just uh, just <laughs> I use the uh, EMN surfactant and uh, some uh, C12 tab action when you put it in the cell. You can see that uh, it does imbibe a little. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I did this at home just with brine, it didn't imbibe at all it, with um, limestone. So uh, the surfactant do have some uh, effect. What we're trying to do here with the varying degrees of success is uh, conformance control. Okay. So what we have here is a uh, rock core. Okay. It has a one millimeter fracture uh, going straight through it. So that's a quite wide fracture. You can actually see quite well through it. And what we're trying to do is to plug it up using polymer gels. And then we're injecting water afterwards to see what pressure it takes to break the polymer gel in the fracture. So we're going to do it in different ways. And uh, what we're using now is gelant. And that's basically a gel that hasn't formed yet. So it has a viscosity that's a little bit thicker than water, but it's not that much thicker. It's maybe 10 to 20 times as uh, thick as water. But uh, after we inject it here, we put the pour in the oven, and uh, the gel will cross link. Uh, it, uh, it's a chemical reaction that happens to make it quite gel. So I actually have a few gel samples in the like it. So when it's formed, it's going to look like this, so it's a lot thicker. And then we're injecting the water to see when it breaks. Okay. So we're uh, going down to Socorro, to uh, New Mexico Tech, after we've been here, to try the same, but then we're going to inject uh, the readily formed form gel and see what pressure it takes to push that out of the fracture. Yeah. 